Rendering photorealistic images using a standard graphics pipeline is complex. What if we could render images with a generative network instead, starting with high-level labels that are much easier to create and edit? We present a generative adversarial framework for synthesizing 2K photorealistic images. To show the advantage of this approach, we provide an interactive interface for users to quickly edit objects in the scene. Let's try out our tools. We can select different colors for the car, or choose diverse textures for the road. We can also remove objects by replacing the existing labels with different ones. For example, replacing the trees with buildings or cars with roads. Moreover, we can add new objects to the scene, like inserting a new car at a particular location with a desired object size. Finally, we can just paint on the label map to create novel scenes, like adding more trees into the image. Note that these shapes, colors, and textures are completely learned from the models without having any human intervention or handcrafted filters. Maybe the street view is a little boring. Let's do some portrait editing at 1K resolution. Here we can modify the appearance of each facial part. For example, choosing different skin colors, or selecting different shapes or eye colors. Again, the shapes and textures are completely learned with no human intervention. We can also modify the original label map to create different effects. What happens if we make the eyes bigger? In this example, we can choose different skin colors or lighting conditions for the photo. We can modify the face by changing the eyebrow styles, adding more or less hair. How about adding a mustache to the face? Or a beard along with a mustache? Finally, we show comparisons with state-of-the-art image synthesis methods, Pix2Pix and CRN. We first show side-by-side -side comparisons along with the semantic map. Then we switch between results from different methods. First, Pix2Pix versus our method, then CRN versus ours. For the rest of the examples, we only show switches between CRN and our results. Note that the result from CRN has many blocky artifacts, for example in the trees. In this example, note that we can clearly see the headlights and the license plate in our result. Next, in this scene, again the result by CRN is more blurry and lacks fine details. Furthermore, we have more realistic textures on the road and the buildings. Finally, our result has finer details in the cars, the buildings, and even the bicyclist. Finally, we use the model trained on cityscapes to synthesize images from labels generated by Grand Theft Auto. The results by CRN again look unnatural and lack fine details, while ours look more realistic. This illustrates the cross dataset generalization of our method. We achieve these results by using a coarse defined generator, multi scale discriminators, and a robust adversarial objective. Our generator consists of a global generator and a local enhancer. The global generator takes a downsampled label map as input and generates low resolution results. Then, the local enhancer aggregates the feature maps from both the global generator and the original label map to produce the final output. For discriminators, we build an image pyramid for both real and synthesized images and have three different discriminators at different scales. Finally, we present a robust GAN loss. In addition to the standard discriminator loss, we also match the intermediate feature layers between the real and synthesized images. These three modifications allow us to generate photorealistic high-resolution images. To produce diverse outputs, we train an encoder to embed visual features for each object instance in the ground truth image. We then concatenate the features with the label map to synthesize the final image. By manipulating the visual features, we are able to produce different outputs. Thank you. Please find our code and models on our website.